Hello, my lovely Pisces. This is going to be a reading for September. If you would like a personal reading, you can email me, which will be in the description box. So, I hear going down memory lane. Somebody is going down memory lane. They could be talking about um, when they first met you and the pickup line they used to get you. Uh, it's almost like somebody is going, um, oh my God. It could be separation vibes. I don't know if you're, if you're going through, through a separation with someone and it could have been really ugly at first. It could have been a really bad separation. And it could have happened at a bad time. And the only reason why I said it could have happened at a bad time is because I also see a, a vision of someone who you could have had someone that was sick. You could have been like losing someone. You could have had someone who was on life support. So you could have had a bad breakup and then a family member who was sick at the same time or vice versa is what spirit is saying, you know, um, I hear helpless. You felt helpless over the situation at the time. And it was just a lot of differences. The, the reason for this separation just seems like it was a lot of dis... I said disrespect. It could have been a lot of disrespect. But it seems like a lot of differences. You know? Like this is how I feel versus this is how you feel. And just a lot of differences that could have caused a lot of disrespect. For some of you too, it could be a separation. I hear like friends with benefits. Maybe, maybe you didn't go the long haul with this person, but it just it's just a big separation. They always even if you were in a relationship with this person, when you guys were in a relationship, they would they would find ways to push you away. They would complain a lot about you, whether you know this or not. It's like someone who didn't appreciate or value you. I feel like why do I feel like this is the theme of the week for almost every reading that I'm doing? People who do People who could have um, made life difficult for you or made love, a love situation, very, very difficult for you. And whoever this person is, they hot and heavy for you right now. So they have a lot built up inside of them. They keep remembering or going back over the times that they could have slept with you and when they met you and when they took you out for the first time or when you guys had your first date. Um, and it's almost like... They can't escape you. Someone feels like they can't escape you. Or, or it could be a situation where somebody feels like it's taking them a long time to get over you. Or it's like they had to lose you to see how much you truly meant to them. You know? I even hear like I feel like calling. They may even feel like reaching out to you. And then they second guess themselves and say, but what if I regret it? What if I regret it? What if it doesn't go my way? <laughs> so somebody who reaches for the phone, you might feel their energy and then they they second guess themselves. They start to think about all the negative things that could happen if they were to call you and then they pull back their energy, you know? <sighs> I've been here like, I've, I've, yeah, this is you. This is you for the month of September stepping into your power. I even, I even almost regret the way that I spoke to you or I act like I didn't care. I devalued you, you know. For some of you too, this could be cross-watching. Like it, you can be cross-watching for a Pisces, you know. So you could be, I don't know why, like a Capricorn I just heard. Like you could be a Capricorn or a Taurus and you're, you're, re you're reading, you're listening in for a Pisces and this is what they could have caused on you or they could have done for, done to you. And, um... I haven't heard disconnecting. The situation could have got so bad that someone could have blocked the other person or just like changed change their number and automatically just shifted their attitude, tried to change up everything. That's This is how the person can feel. Like they just distanced themselves and, and just switched up. So this person could have hurt you, but it could have caused you to actually step into your power because you could have switched up. Um, yeah. So this is the person in solitude 
and they're trying to weigh their options on whether they should reach out to you or not. If they do reach out to you, you, you will stand your ground, it shows, or spirit is advising you to stand your ground with this person. Because I hear it goes zero to 100 real quick. You got to stand your ground because things can blow up. Yeah, see? But they're trapped in fear. They have lots of fear. I even hear nightmares. This could have really disappointed you a lot. So you disconnected. This, this person caused you too much disappointment. And this is why you couldn't take it anymore, you know? Yeah, this is an ending. I knew it. Separation vibes, a big, big ending. And I hear dramatic. It was a dramatic ending for many of you. Not for all of you. Because I even hear, like, you don't have to raise your voice at me. You don't have to talk to me that way. It could have got real ugly. Um, but can I tell you something? It was it was designed for this to come and this tower to come and fall. It shows the universe. So you had a breakup that was meant to happen. A faded connection that that was meant to end it wasn't meant to continue so you know i even hear like writing you a paragraph you know um and they could have disrespected your mother they could have called you all kinds of names they could have disrespected your mother and at the time when they did this to you like you could have been really vulnerable like you could have been really really vulnerable um and just going through a lot of different things at one time and they could have triggered you even more it's almost like you could have been at a weak place already and they pushed the dagger in even even more um so this is why it, it could have took you longer to get over it because of the, the disrespect was so much that's why um yeah so you have lots of wishes that are gonna be for <laughs> gonna be fulfilled in the month of september and I hear using your intuition. You could be using your intuition in order to have these these wishes fulfilled. Or it can just be you, like going to different readings in order for you to get a lot of information, in order for you to move forward from a situation that could have had you hurt and take a break from love, some of you. And if it's not like take a break from love, you could have just stopped reaching out to this person. I even hear like, don't touch me. <laughs> It, it got so disrespectful that you didn't want the person to touch you. So this is this is you now. This is what I'm saying. I hear fruitful. It's going to be a fruitful season for you. It's exactly what you needed. I felt like if you were trying to manifest or if you were trying to make things work in your life, it could have fell apart and it could have fell apart because this person's energy could have been like holding you back or bringing you down or it kept making you recall times in your life where you felt powerless or where you felt like you weren't enough. And it will make you doubt every decision that you were going to make. Oh, maybe I shouldn't. You, you were afraid to take chances on yourself. You would doubt every choice that you would make. And it was because of this person's energy, this person's energy and all that they've done to you. They could have poisoned you and made you feel like you weren't enough. You carried it with you. So this is why you second guessed everything or sometimes you would sabotage opportunities, not trusting it thinking that something bad is going to happen, you know? And I hear the, the last eclipse could have helped you. So you could have you could have broke up with this person from the last eclipse. The secret was revealed and that, that could have done it for you, like finished you, which is sad. You know what I mean? Because when I hear like finish them, it's like if you did have a little hope or a little heart left, it's like whatever secret was revealed could have like really put a dagger inside your heart. So this person was emotionally damaging to you. Um... Yeah, so this is like your destiny. You having so many other doors that are going to be open. This person is going through a real hard time. You have many, many options and choices. Why well, I hear like I used to build Legos. What? What does that got to do with anything? Yeah. See? For a long time, it's like every time that you would try to go for things like big positions or you wanted great things in life, you would feel very conflicted and defeated. You would you would sabotage opportunities with you or anything of like you even 
gone to a position of leadership, you would sabotage it or second guess yourself or find a way to talk yourself out of it. You felt like you weren't deserving and you felt like you weren't deserving because of how this person treated you, you know? So let me see. Your spirit guys want you to know you didn't deserve that, you know? I only say that because sometimes people internalize the energy when bad things happen. They kind of feel like it's their fault. You didn't, regardless if you didn't, you ignored the red flags for a long time. It's like you still didn't deserve it, you know? It's important for you to know that. I even heard, I even hear Virgo. It could have been a Virgo who could have hurt you. Ooh. <laughs> see they want you could have found out about a love affair that all along this person could have had you like they blinded you they they always had another person in their energy but this is them like still wanting you still still trying to hold on to you even though they knew that they had this this secret so it was a very unhealthy relationship very very toxic for you some of you, you could, I hope not, but some of you could even bring this person to court, like especially if it's like children involved or if there's anything legal, you could have to bring this person to court because they're not trying to work with you. Or you have, yeah, in the past you could have went to, to court, like you had a lot of rage and anger when it came to this person and the things that they would do to try to pull you down. Yeah, some of you is like financial support, spousal support, child support. Even though we're not together anymore, you still are obligated to take care of the children or this household with me. It could have been a situation like that. Yeah. Some of you, you felt like you lowered your standards to be with this person and you can't even understand why. Like that could, that could have messed you up for a long time and made you question yourself. And this could have caused you lots of doubt and fear. Like why would I lower my standards to be with somebody like this how how could I allow someone to treat me this way so when it comes to like blaming yourself it could be for that because you you knew that this person kind of possessed certain traits but you still went along with it anyway probably thinking you could change them or you know so you you have it's divine intervention that this situation ended it was supposed to like your spirit God saved you if there was like a big ending or secrets were revealed and it could have hurt you it was meant because in the long run you would never be able to let, live out your destiny holding on to this person and you wouldn't because this person would would bring you down every time you would climb up the ladder the person would do anything to drag you back down so without them if you notice since you've been apart from them you're able to focus more you're you're going for things that scare you and if you're not, I'm here to tell you that even if it scares you, because I even hear like reinventing yourself, some of you have moved, so you could have like completely changed your location, you like got up and you moved. Others of you, um, others of you, I'm sorry, I lost my, oh, if you are afraid to pursue more when it comes to like your dreams, spirit is saying, do it with the fear. Don't let the fear stop you or don't, don't let this person's energy determine the outcome of your life and, and make you sabotage things that can be for you so it's basically you having to fight against the energy of someone who tried to overpower you or make you feel smaller or make you feel like you weren't enough for for, for genuine love you know what i'm saying um because i hear like you're sitting on top of lots of paperwork you could be a, a big procrastinator and you don't realize that the procrastination could be fear and the fear is because of someone making you not sure of yourself anymore you know someone like if you felt that as a child if you had a family member a mother father who made you feel that somebody triggering those emotions back in you so just be mindful of that yeah this person now was secretly obsessed or you have a new love you have a new love who is going to be really really into you it shows love. Somebody who holds a lot of masculine energy. 
or some of you can be a divine masculine. So you're the new love you, you find will either hold a lot of masculine energy or, and I also even hear generating a lot of like a lot of income. So like I said, anything that you, anything that you want to do or you're holding back from, do it because it's going to generate a lot of income. Don't allow what this person did to you, make you see yourself in a light that you're actually not because being with the wrong lover can do that. It can make you see yourself as less because of how they treated you. Because if you love somebody and you value them and they don't show you the same appreciation or value back, it can make you feel like, well, damn, maybe I'm not worthy. But the truth is you are, you know? So it's like you learning that what this person, I even hear ungrateful. You could have, you, they could have been very ungrateful. Even with going to court, you know, like you have to take an offer off the table because they wanted more. They could have been money hungry. It could have been a lot of different things I'm starting to see come up. You know, you will see how that, that is. Or for some of you, this, this could be like a, a parent. <laughs> you know, you might have a narcissistic parent who, who wants more from you. No matter what you do, they want more, you know, so it could see how this energy plays out. But you were rescued. A situation that was hurting you, if it ended and you feel really bad, it was meant to end so that you can be placed with true, genuine love. It's what you deserve. So if you've been hearing from this person and all of a sudden they go cold turkey, it shows like a break. A break from a situation that was actually breaking you. Which is good because it makes you sit down and think like what's truly going on what's you know i could take off my rose colored glasses i can see through the situation clearly now that i'm not in it yeah whoever you guys were with too you guys could have had a lot of financial issues somebody who did not say that money hungry i don't know if it could be the, the cross watcher somebody who just always had money struggles or, or created a lot of Issues when it came to finances, you could have spent a lot of money on this person and now you're struggling financially because of all you invested into this person. But um, yeah, it could have been a marriage that you were in. I even hear declaring bankruptcy. Some of you guys are deciding to, you know, you were you were in your head, should I, should I um, to bankruptcy in order to start all over again with my, it just, it just had you everywhere. I feel like I, I almost want to, spin out of control they could have left you with such a mess that it just made you spin out of control and i hear friends with benefits they would tell you that this person is my friend you would find out that they were actually sleeping with the person you know they just did the most you know so when you come out of that much betrayal it will make you second guess yourself or how did i see this or how can i you know so spirit wants you to focus on self-care right now you could be in a place where you're caring for yourself and like i said a lot of opportunities to help you financially get back on your feet and you also have a love like someone who is really obsessed with you like they're really attracted to you they're excited to get this started with you so i'm going to go on to the extended and talk about this love as well if you are interested in what's going to happen with your finances or business i'll do that on the other side of this video I send you so much love and light.